Yo, yo, it's your boy, Solo Man. I'm gonna be checking in and checking out real quick. If I ain't that the truth, look, I just wanna say this real quick. I mean, my feelings, man. Not personally, but just thinking, you know what I'm saying, in hindsight. You know, I was married twice. <clears throat> Especially the first marriage. I done had this problem in marriage, you know what I'm saying? But, um, man. And this ain't got nothing to do with racing like that. Cause I know, I'm pretty sure that there are some Caucasian, Asian, maybe not many Hispanics, you know what I'm saying? Because they get it in. Um, Jamaican, African, whatever. Races who are men who have, have wives and they end up not having sex as much. I know some guys personally who, who married the girls of the ended up getting the girl of their dreams and they end up being a goddamn, I ain't gonna say a nightmare, but a, 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 not a nightmare, but you might well goddamn be a celibate. Not a nightmare, but a celibate mayor or some shit. You know, trying to piece some two words together. Man, let me tell you something. Man, I have had a responsible wife who's good with money. Um, she handled her business. You know, a good mother. Uh, my second wife, she was. She was good with money. She was very responsible. She, you know what I'm saying? She did her part, you know, the whole way. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, but at this point, I'm almost 40, right? At this point, I'd rather have a, a dinghy, but a dinghy, I ain't gonna say slow, you know what I'm saying? Hell no, nah, but you know how you see how you see them airhead women who be who be sexy as hell to you and they just, just and, and and they just go with the flow, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, you know what I'm saying, you with or they with. I'd rather have one of them than a strong, goddamn responsible women a woman, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm responsible too. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I go through ups and downs, but for the most part, I, I handle my business, you know what I'm saying? But um business that I really, really need to handle. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I ain't gonna lie, sometimes I just be sitting up thinking, man, man, give me a, a, a what they call an average chick, but I I see the beauty in her. She finds me and she just, just dingy as hell. And man, I will goddamn enjoy her and I will, you know what I'm saying? You know, a dingy chick, she'll let you use her. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, Especially physically, she give you what you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't really about her. It's about you all the time for your whole life. I'd rather have one of them. Because let me tell you something. This is, you know, especially to ladies who, who are married or, or whatever. Who, who, especially to the women who, who ended up marrying the second or third child. It's very seldom that the woman, you know what I'm saying, gets uh, the opportunity or the privilege to have the guy that she's, you know what I'm saying, that she chooses first of her preference. Nine and 9.75 out of 10 of times, that nigga, he ain't, yeah, you ain't finna get him. So most women, they settle, you know what I'm saying, for a man who would do and that's okay ain't nothing wrong with that i did it with my first wife i don't stun her she chased me and if you see this if you're watching don't nobody know who you is except those that do and though they do they don't give a fuck because they got their own lives so what um uh, and you know telling the goddamn truth i ain't gonna say your name yeah I'll, I saw that girl chase me for years. Every time she see me, all up in my face and nervous and, and just quiet. I'm like, man, get, get your ass on. I mean, anyway, so I had kids, had kids with her. But anyway, man, to the women who, is, who, who end up not being naturally sexually attracted to who they settled for, look, 
It's not that man's fault. Get that pussy up, bitch. If you can't get that pussy up, you're going to have to make an effort. Let me tell you something. All because you're not naturally sexually attracted. A lot end up not being naturally sexually attracted to the woman who he had kids by. Because she has a game weight and she don't even try to get it off. She just, and he loves her unconditionally. And he still put it in her and nothing everything. And make the best of it. If you can't do that, then you a selfish bitch and you shouldn't be married. Even God say that. But those who Well, I don't give a damn. God is supreme. I know it exists. It exists because it proved itself to me. And it rules everything. So bitch, you're guilty. You feel me? Like. But I will I will commend, you know, those women who who settled for a good man. But she ain't really attracted to him. She did what she felt she had to do as she was talking. You know what I'm saying? If you can't get the one you want, you get the one that wants you. Type shit. You know they yeah, that's what women are taught. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Men ain't taught that shit. Hell no. Cause we ain't gotta be married at all. And we can yeah, we'll be alright. But we want to be married so bad, it's like, you know what I'm saying? We view marriage as as important as women do. But we don't. We don't have to. It's not a need. And really, it's a responsibility because you don't get nothing out of it. And all the work, most of the work is going to be on that man. Unless, unless the woman who he marries is her, is, unless the woman who he marries you know what I'm saying? Um, chased him. Then his marriage is going to be. Um, huh, in most cases, extremely more enjoyable because. You know what I'm saying? In her eyes, she's always trying to impress him. She's always trying to please him. A woman that. Doesn't have it in herself to to push herself at least on her own. At least 60% of the time. You know what I'm saying? As Even if it's a duty. You know what I'm saying? If she don't try that shit, bro. Then, man, that's your homegirl, bro. That's your real homegirl. Like you grew up like Forrest Gump and Jenny before he got that pussy. And he only got it one time. Her ain't got no. He say that nut all the way to that one time. And he only had sex that one time. And she put his head asleep. And he skeeted deep. <laughs> you feel me? So, yeah. So, women who have husbands, get him in that pussy, man. Especially if he take care of you. Or especially if he, he's he a good man. I don't give a fuck if he born. And this is another thing I don't, I don't really understand by women. I only think I'm going to edit this video. I'm going to put it straight out there. I got a headache anyway. I just want to tell somebody, you know what I'm saying? And I don't fuck with nobody, so as of right now, you know what I'm saying? Like sex is very, 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 very limited in my life right now. And that shit. And I mean, I can go get some pussy, but I don't pick my dick everywhere. It got to be got to certified and motherfucking test, you know, you tested and goddamn approved. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. I'd rather be a monk or God than just be a freaky ass regular dude who jacked my dick, watch porn. Ask God to forgive me in the end if it's wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's nature. Shit. You feel me? But a man, a man needs sex, bro. Especially if, if he's faithful to a woman. Because that shit a, a change a man, bro. Because it's chemicals. Get that man that pussy, man. And he'll make you happy. Yeah. Eventually. Or sooner. It just depends on on his makeup. But any woman who let you marry her and let you, especially if she talks shit to you, makes shit hard for you, and you know what I'm saying, like, you know what I'm saying, remind you of your responsibility. Man, if she don't get that pussy up, man, man, leave that bitch, boy. I don't give a fuck if you got eight kids by. Leave her, bro, and go fuck her sister. Who said you wrong? God didn't say you wrong. Not the man. Hey, it is what it is. Go talk to God, bitch. Go talk to God. Don't talk to me. For real. Because. Yeah, time out for that shit. Because a man don't have to marry a woman. But a woman. 
obviously is not happy unless she secure her a good man who going to goddamn be with her in life. And to, it seems to me, it seems to me as I observe, you know what I'm saying? Um, 95% of women, I, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's damn near like a need for them to have them a, a, a good man who's going to at least be there for them and love them. I don't give a fuck. She take care of him or he take care of her or they both work take care of each other. I don't give a damn about the financial shit because we both can make money. That shouldn't even be a topic no more. Because women, y'all can make money and don't nobody go kill no goddamn meat. We all go to the grocery store and pick that fucking meat up and buy it. So all that financial shit where you, the, the man got to make it. Man, everybody give a fuck. Bitches a of the world, them mother, the company got to kill the meat and grow the vegetables. We don't grow our own gardens and shit no more. That was just back then. It's so all that money, bro. I don't give a fuck if she take care of you. That don't fucking matter because she can go to work in her at her office desk and y'all home and make got buku money not doing nothing. And if she is going there, rub her feet. If she's like, get that pussy, eat, eat that pussy. Make sure she clean that pussy. Yeah. Be a blessing to her. As if, you know what I'm saying, you would want her to be a blessing to you if if y'all did things things the traditional way financially and, and the man took care of everything. But don't let them shame you. I know it's off topic, but don't let a woman shame you in 2023 for her going to work and you not. I don't give a fuck, man. I stand alone against the whole goddamn world. I stand ten toes down by my beliefs. It just makes sense, man. Ain't about that financial shit. But okay, back to the main point. I'm finna end this video so I can go to sleep. I got a headache, but so this last statement is to the brothers, bro. Let me tell you something. Don't marry now mother now woman who hasn't at least proven that she is weak for you. If she can't just come around you, especially when y'all dating, the whole time y'all dating though, if she can't keep her hands off you like you can't keep your hands off her, at least someone got them ratio, then she ain't yours, bro. She wants somebody else and he don't want her. Or she ain't find her preference and she'll do with you. And it died in the beginning because y'all, yeah, you, you have sex. However, as time go on, if you're going to be faithful to her, boy, you're going to suffer. You're going to suffer. So think about it. Don't marry too quick. And men, you, you control the marriage, not her. Don't let her pressure you into no marriage for her security. Cause that shit ain't got nothing to do with love or her heart. She trying to goddamn, you know what I'm saying? She trying to goddamn do self, uh, um, what's the first rule of nature? Self-preservation. She ain't thinking about you, she's thinking about her. Cause something happened to you, especially if you got your shit together. Her thing she's going to think about, her first argument is going to be, well, if we don't get married, then if something happened to you, then what's going to, who gonna get your stuff? And that's true. But if that's the main concern, you turn your back on that bitch and you go the other way, and then you say, you know what? No, and you come back and you and you use that bitch for whatever you can use her for, and then you and you ghost her ass because she never thought about you. I'm serious, bro. I'm serious. And and real conclusion, I don't give a fuck what nobody say. If, if you disagree, I still love this agrees to disagree. You can't whoop my ass. Man or woman, guarantee you better bring a gun. Man, 2023, motherfucker shoot you. Got it for disagreeing with him. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, men, the best man for each individual woman, or, or how y'all do your shit, you know what I'm saying, is the prize. And the woman is the winner of that prize. So why in the fuck do y'all women, those who are 
who don't understand this concept, why would you want the responsibility of remaining a prize for your partner? All you got to do is be a winner of that prize. It's the prize's responsibility to remain a fucking prize. So you want to fight and you want to compete for the, uh, uh, the position of a title ship of being the prize. Well, go ahead, bitch. You can have it. And you better stay up there, too, because I'm going to win. Hey, I'll be the winner of that prize. You got them right. And I'm going to use it. I'm, I'm going to treat you like a prize, too. I'm going to enjoy the fuck out you. And I'm the winner. So I ain't got to do shit. I already won. So think about that, ladies and fellas. I love y'all because I am y'all. Ain't that the truth?